Right, so, hello boys and girls. I don't know why I'm speaking, I spoke a bit slow then, but I did. Basically, this I've had I've had a bit of a mare with my video ideas, and like what to upload, what not to upload, thinking about it. Like I've been thinking about different camera angles I could use in my videos just to make, maybe make it a little bit better. And I've had a bit of an idea, and obviously, there's been quite a lot of FIFAs, even just on the Xbox One, there's been quite a few. So, as you can see, on the uh, screen, oh, as you can see on the screen now, I've just clicked on FIFA 16. You're probably wondering, Josh, why are you on FIFA 16? That's like three years old now. No one, no one's really bothered. But I thought, I thought of it and that video idea, and I thought I'm gonna do it before I forget what it is. Basically, all this video idea is is looking at all the overpowered players on FIFA 19. And looking at the cards in FIFA 16. It sounds a bit weird, I know, but let me just jump into the squad and you might understand what I mean. I'll try and get the two comparisons on the screen. It might not be both at the same time. It might be one at a time. I don't really know how I'm going to do it. But let's get into it and let's see the difference in players. Be back in a second. Right, so... Before we get into the squad, as you can see in the screen, I've got 8,300 coins. There is nothing that I could discard that I'm willing to discard. So, I might play a few games and do a draft on FIFA 16. I know obviously it's FIFA 16, but I've seen that. Like, I watched the Pemphers yesterday and he did a FIFA 18 one. So, I thought I'm going to steal that idea and go down a few more years to when it first came out. I'm sure it's FIFA 16. Unless it was 15, and I would do one on that one as well, but I'm sure it was 16. So let's get into the squad. Right, so first, we've got David De Gea. Obviously, he's always been good. Look at him. He's just. And what I've noticed is, I'm sure he looks exactly the same there as in FIFA 19. I try and get the two cards next to each other, like on the black. I don't know how I'm going to edit this at all. I don't have the skills, but. I'll try and get both of the cards from that now and back then. I don't know why I went like that. I don't know. Take it or leave it. But I'm going to try and get both the cards from FIFA 16 and FIFA 19. Obviously, look, look at the comparison as well. So, obviously, it's a bit more updated now and it's a bit more. I, I, it's a bit easy. It's, they're both easy to understand, but you can see it a bit clearly and understand it a bit clearly on FIFA 19. So obviously he's only got 88 diving, 81 handling, 86 kicking, 89 reflexes, which I think is quite good. And his speed, I don't, I don't really watch much football. I don't really watch much, much football in general, but I'm sure his speed is. I'm sure he's a lot quicker than 51. I know this is three years ago, but I'm sure he's always been a lot, a lot quicker than that. So yeah, that's goalkeeper position. Next position is. Raphael Varane. Well, do we all like this boy this year in FIFA? Let me tell you that one. Because, one, it's Varane, isn't it? FIFA 19, Varane, the very start of the game, the best centre-back in the game, my opinion. He's, he's fast, he's got a good defending, and he's got a good physical. And he's just a horrible player to play against. So, my opinion, he's one of the most overused, like, broken on FIFA, FIFA 19. But obviously, FIFA 16 is only 82 rated. We've, we've still got good pace, good defending. That's still good. But 82 rated in three years, he's gone from what, 82 to 86 or 87 as his gold card, which is quite a big jump. And I don't think, in my opinion, what how is how Real Madrid are playing now, now Ronaldo's left. It, this is what this is the card he should have in FIFA 19. Haters are going to hate on whatever. But he's playing absolute... Real Madrid are playing shite this season. So, it, this card needs to come back. EA just magically give Varane a massive downgrade. to an 82 rated and Bob will be our uncle. Next player. Eighty-seven Sergio Ramos. At every time I versus person... He's always with Varane and Courtois, FIFA 19. 
but I can't stand Vincent Ramos. I'm at him myself. He's an absolute beast to play with. He's disgusting. But, yeah, I'm sure he's either the same rating or he's one higher. Or he's two higher. It's not much higher. But I'm sure his stats are similar as well, which is a bit weird. Because, obviously, you would think, if fair enough, he's getting older. But he's going to get a bit better, you would think. I'm not too sure. Obviously, it's 5-16, so... Yeah, it is what it is, but that that's Ramos. There is in games if you're bothered anyway. But yeah, 66 dribbling, 87 defending, 81 physical, 79 pace. I, I, yeah, just I don't know what to say other than that is a good card for Ramos. Obviously, he's always played centre back, right back. Back in the day, when I didn't understand FIFA, he was a right back, which is. A bit weird to run myself right back. You can see why he would play there, but yeah. Alright, let's get on to the next player. This one's interesting. Virgil van Dijk. We all know how horrible this man is to verse in FIFA. Every, every team I have versed that has this man in it, I automatically lose. You can have a full bronze team with van Dijk in it and I lose. You can't outpace him, you can't outstrength him, you can't outskill him, you can't play him nutmegs him, you can't do anything to the bloke. Fair enough, he's six foot four and he's a bit of a big boy. But FIFA FIFA 16, look at this card. Like Southampton, a bit odd, a bit no one even knew playing for Southampton back in the day. Well, two years or three years ago, whenever he was. But like, bloody hell. This man carried Southampton and then he went, fuck off, I'm off to Liverpool. That's what he did. What a wanker. These are his in games. Obviously, you can't. It's FIFA 19 is a bit better for the in games bit. But I do think it is quite interesting to come back a few years and look at like who they're playing for, what what they look like as well. That's a that's a big one because they all change dramatically. Like FIFA 19, Van Dijk is so much whiter than what he is there. I'm, that, that's my opinion. He he look he he looks. Black there, and then on FIFA 19, he he he's obviously still black. He just looks more, it looks more lighter. Looks like he looks after himself a little bit more. That's what I want to say. I don't know if I can put that in. I don't know if it's a bit racist or not, but I'll leave it in. And if it is racist, I apologise. But I do think he does look darker. His skin tone is a lot darker on FIFA 16 than FIFA 19, which I think is a bit interesting as well. This man right here, he is the left back that everybody uses. I'm sure everybody uses this man. I'm positive that everyone uses this man. Like, you see him in so many teams, it's unreal. I don't know why, I don't know what's so good about him. Fair enough, he has got a good card. He's gone from an 82 to an 86 on FIFA, which is quite good. What's that, a 4 upgrade? So, that that's quite good. We've gone from an 82 to an 84. And obviously, it's Juventus's first left, I'm sure he's his first left back. Might be the only bloody left back for Juventus, but he is a, he's good, basically. And like, I understand that everyone uses him because he's good. But EA, yeah, there's good players in real life, and there's good players in EA, yeah, and all like Alexandro Van Dyke, Cancelo. That's someone who I could put into this one. Or well, it might be in this one. You never know. But players like that, they're just a bit overpowered just because of who they are and maybe who they play for and where they're from and all. And yeah, that's my opinion on it. Mohamed Salah. Right, we all know about this man. He's come from the Italian league. I'm a big man in Italy. Come into the Premier League, slapped us all silly, and he's done bits. Fair enough. But did many people use him in FIFA, FIFA 16, even FIFA 15, 15, 16, and maybe even maybe 17? I'm not sure if it was at Liverpool for 17. But it is quite interesting. To know that three, four years ago, 
me, me as a person in general, I would have never touched this car. I, would, I wouldn't have even known who he was. But now he's come to the Premier League and everyone knows him. He's a big star, whatever. It's a bit... And what has happened to his hair? Three years, his hair has gone from decent afro. That's it. He's gone from a nice little afro to just massive mop thing just because Liverpool was a bit colder than... Roma, wherever, wherever Roma is, Rome, or what, I don't know, it's just a bit, but it's just, he just looks a bit slicker, he just looks a bit nicer there, now he's just, he just looks, he looks like a scruff, my opinion, again, obviously he's still got his four star, four star, he's in games, to be fair, in games a bit crap, but like, I like my, my, my right wings, my right forwards, my right mids. I'd like them to be able to have a little bit of... To have about 80 shooting because they can still shoot as well. 72, that's a bit crap for, for, for Mo. He's, he's, got, he's got more than that one now than obviously back in the day. But, yeah. That's just a bit interesting for me. Right, so I'm not going to ramble on because this video has been far too long for anybody. But this is the team. And I, at the start or the end or somewhere in the video, I will put them both on the screen side by side. Just so you can look at the players and stuff that I've said. You can maybe like take it in and don't take it, get your own opinion on it. But the main thing that I want to say is how people have changed so much. Like, just quickly, like, Van Dyke, like, on FIFA 16, he is, as horrible as it is saying, he is not that white. He's, he's on his face or something, he's just sorted himself out, and he's, he just looks all right. Same with Ramos, he's not scruffy anymore, he doesn't have his beard, he's sorted all night, it's all nice. And that was I said, I can, I can sort of see what I said about the hair, but then I, I look at this one and I'm just like, no, Josh, what are you on about? But yeah, so the, these are the teams that are what I'm doing. I'm a little boogie. These are the teams, and yeah, I've actually enjoyed this as long as this is going to take me to edit and do what I have to do to it. It's, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed doing this video. I don't know why. I just thought, let's put a little team together to see what happens. Obviously, it's took off, and I've been rambling for 40 minutes. No one's recommended this to me. I've just thought of a random thing to do. And, yeah, well, these are players that annoy me in FIFA 19. This, this is what it is. This is the team that I think overpowered, annoy me. You can't do anything about them type of players my, my personal opinion so if you've enjoyed this video let me know I, I, do let me know because I, I've enjoyed myself as sad as it is sitting in my bedroom for half an hour talking to myself but yeah so thank you for watching if anybody's watched this I'm hoping I can get it to about 10 minutes long but that might pushing it so yeah Thanks for watching and I've got another video coming soon which is just saying what I might be doing or just upload just do yeah. Do you like a little bit of a clean up, let's 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 have a look what what you're doing and that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's coming. Sorry about this. Obviously I've got a light coming so you can see see my beautiful shadow. So yeah, fat the rumbling again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you whenever I next upload and yeah, bye bye.